voter fraud scandal out of Indiana. You have four people, including the Democratic chairman, charged with faking signatures on petitions. Those petitions put President Obama on the Democratic ballot in 2008. Fox News broke that story last fall, and it all started with a young man who went to authorities. Uh, with an update now, Eric Sean is joining us live from our newsroom. Eric? Hi, Janet. Well, he told prosecutors he was ordered to forge presidential petitions for Barack Obama, illegally faking the names and signatures of unsuspecting voters to put the then Illinois senator on the presidential primary ballot. But according to court papers, he had a change of heart and came clean. Now his lawyer calls him a hero. That's how the stunning case in South Bend, Indiana started. And now the revelations from alleged whistleblower 26-year-old Lucas Burkett have led to criminal felony charges. Four Democratic officials and party operatives expected in court within the next hour, charged in a multiple election fraud felony case for allegedly faking the petitions that put both the president and Hillary Clinton on the ballot there in 2008. The longtime Democratic County Chairman Birch Morgan accused of being the mastermind behind the forgery scheme. The Democratic Voter Registration Board Supervisor Pam Burnett and Democratic Board Worker Beverly Shelton also charged, as was Democratic volunteer and former board worker Dustin Blythe. Blythe allegedly forged signatures on President Obama's petitions, but when we caught up with him last November, he refused to comment about it. Can you talk to us about the petitions? No, I'm sorry. I don't have anything to say. Did you forge any signatures? I don't have anything to say. Did have, you, did you fake any you. petitions at all? I don't have anything to say. Well, investigators say they did find forgeries on 22 Obama and Clinton petitions. Those sheets list 10 names each. Voters told us they never signed. I did not sign for Barack Obama. So someone forged this? That's correct. I, that's not my signature. I did not sign for Barack Obama. Well, prosecutors say the forgery assignments are actually split. One person handling Mrs. Clinton, another then Senator Obama, and Blythe allegedly handling John Edwards. But when Lucas Burkett quit, they say Blythe was then assigned his forgery duty for the candidate who would eventually become president of the United States. And if you suspect voter fraud where you live or election problems, we want to know about it. Voter fraud at foxnews.com is our address. Jenna? Eric, thank you.